Okay, firstly, don't get me wrong. I love Disney. I actually spent my weekend wallowing in self pity just watching Disney films on repeat. That's how much I truly love, love Disney. But ever since I was a child, Disney has totally screwed up my life. Just, there's so many things in Disney films which just aren't true. Which I totally believed as a kid, and still kind of without knowing it, do. So, I made a list of all the things that Disney have done which has screwed up mine or possibly other people's lives. So firstly, dreams come true if you don't tell anyone about them. Some of my dreams are really scary and I, yeah, I wouldn't want them to come true. But I still don't want to tell people and just, well, none of them have came true. So that's obviously a lie that Disney invented. Wish upon a star, same thing. I've wished upon numerous stars and nothing's come true. Same with birthday cakes. Every year, well, since I grew up a bit and had boyfriends and such, I would always wish that we would stay together forever. This year I had three birthday cakes. That's three wishes. The odds were not in my favour. Yeah, so that whole wishing on things, it's, it's not true. Now this is the one that mainly screwed up my life. True love will find you. That a prince will just pop out of nowhere and you will sing a lovely song and that will be it. Or a commitment. Once they said they wanted to be with you, they stay with you. Even marriage now, people don't stay together forever. So that totally screwed up my life. I have such an ambition to get the proper true love thing going on. And so far, it's not so much. So also in Disney films, which annoys me, is the fact that there's so many princesses in proportion to real life. There's hardly any princesses in real life. Around here anywhere, there's none. So, that. Disney princesses are able to succeed just by perseverance. There's something that you cannot do, no matter how hard you try and how long you spend on it. There's some things which are just impossible. They are. You can't like beg someone to be your friend, because if they don't want to be your friend, then they're not going to be your friend. And you can't just beg someone to buy you something or give you something, because if it's something they really want, then they're not just going to give it to you. So no matter how hard you try, unless you like work for it and stuff, which is still perseverance, so I guess in that case okay, but when you're a child, you can't really work, so you can't get money to get stuff. Disney princesses never have a bad payday. Ever. No. I wish this was real, because pretty much every day for me is a bad payday. There's never jealousy, which I highly suffer from. There's never jealousy in Disney films, because, well, the whole true love thing. They just seem to, like, once a Disney princess and prince meet each other, then that's it. Nothing else matters to them in the world. This next one isn't really to do with me, because it's more to do with any Disney films. It's usually poor people who go from poor to, like, instantly rich and stuff. Or not even that, like... They've had to live in poverty, even though they're not poor, because they're like, like princesses. But they've gone from that to instantly rich, which, that's highly, highly unlikely. In every Disney film, the princess, or just main heroine, they always get treated like shit before everything magical happens. And trust me, I've been treated like shit by a lot 
of people. I may not have had evil stepmothers or stuff like that. Huntsmen who are trying to cut out my heart. But hey, I've been treated pretty bad. And nothing so super Disney-ish is happening to me. Magic exists in Disney films. It doesn't exist in real life. I wish a fairy godmother would pop up or just be fairies with cranky witches and stuff, but it's not happening. I also wish I was able to talk to animals, which happens in most Disney films. Ariel can talk to fish and stuff, and so can her daughter in the second film. And Snow White can talk to animals as well. So, I think that'd be pretty awesome. And I'm definitely sure that animals do not talk back to me. Unless it's just that animals really don't like me because they don't want to talk back. But I'm hoping it's more the other thing. Um, it's pretty much always sunny for princesses and stuff. Unless they're going through a tough time, which is hardly ever. Well, just like a day of it. And princess in their entire lives. It's only ever the bad guys who get brains along. And when you need someone in a Disney film, they're always really nearby to save the day and to help you out. That doesn't happen. Loads of people have to rely on themselves in real life. And evil people are so noticeable in Disney films. We never get, like, sneaky pedophiles or that. It's, it's just... If you're evil, you have shifty eyes and like pointy clothes and crazy hair and stuff. And you instantly, if you look at someone, you're like, yeah, they're evil. Stay away from them. But in the real world, you don't know who's gonna be an ass. I guess that's why I've ended up so treated like crap. Because I can't see when people are evil. It's Hardly anyone can see these evils. Now, on to the other side of my list. Disney princesses and just heroines can always sing amazing, never have sore throats, or hit a bad note. And if you're ever injured in a Disney film, it's never permanent, unless you're a bad guy, because bad guys can have scars. But good guys never do. I mean, they go about fighting dragons and Naran fights in a freaking war, for God's sake. And she still comes out pretty unscathed. Unless she has, like, a scar there that you don't see in the other film. And they can always do things in time. No matter how ridiculous the time limit seems for them to be able to do it. It's always just in the nick of death. And they're always the most beautiful people in, like, the entire land. How crap does that make us not-so-beautiful people feel? I mean, I look pretty boyish and stuff, so I'm not obviously Disney princess looks. So does that mean that I'm not gonna find true love and stuff? Just... Yeah, it's pretty crap. Disney ruined my life. <laughs> and the last thing about how unrealistic Disney is and how it's ruined my life is that evil people always get punished in Disney films. They always get caught out and stuff. But that definitely doesn't happen in the real world. I mean, most proper executive businessy type people who are really rich and stuff, it's because they've been pretty horrible to work their way up the career ladder. So Disney has ruined not only my life, but probably quite a few people who've watched Disney films as a child life, it's just that you won't realise it yet. But trust me, if you think about it, Disney will have ruined your life. And if I was American, I would sue their asses. Also, if I didn't love Disney so much. But still. Yeah, if I was American, they would they'd be getting their asses sued. So anyway... Well, the next video is a bit cheerier rather than me just complaining about one of my loves. Bye!